Hello everyone, it's Matt from TotalMTG here, and today I'm bringing you some gameplay to the channel. What have I got for you today? I'm playing the deck from this week's Deck Tech, which is my Esper Masterminds Acquisition Control, and we're taking on some fishies. It's Blue Green Merfolk. Now this is usually a very good matchup for me, but please sit back and enjoy as I take down the fishies and hopefully it won't drown under all of their creatures. So let's have a look. First game, here we go. So we've got Volving Wilds, we have a push, we do have an opt. Uh, it's not, it's okay, I mean we've got push and opt. Maybe get that other land, let's, let's give it a go, let's give it a go. Um, I think we'll lead off with Fetty Pools, to be honest. First, first play of the game. Play the Fetid and pass turn. Okay. So those of you watching on YouTube, thank you very much for joining us. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then follow the links below to follow me on Twitch as well. So you can catch the gameplay live. Right, what do we draw? What do we draw? Concealed Courtyard. Well, we'll play this first. Get rid of the Cracker Evolving Wilds. Do, do, do. Right, what's that? An Unclaimed Territory. Okay. We're playing the Fishies. Okay. So, comes in as a 1-1. One, one. We'll keep that. Um, what do you want to get? What do you want to get? I think we will get... An island. Then we're opt. Yo, Taylor, how you doing, buddy? Uh, put that on top. Draw another land. Good to see you here, buddy. Play our courtyard. Yeah, we got the fifth land as well, which is good for the Scarab God. Playing some fishies in the first game. Come on. Um, yep, okay. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on it, okay. Ooh, it's a 3-3. Three, three. Another branch walker. Okay. Comes in. This is what this deck can do. It really can sort of, you know... Get aggro very quick. It's a 4 4 that can still be fatal pushed. There we go. Yo, MTG Strategist, how you doing, dude? Good to see you here. Yeah, that, that was just a guess, Taylor, mate. That was just a guess. I'm not too sure. Um, so we play Drowned. Oh, got another fatal push. That's alright. Happy with the push. Yield. So we've got masterminds we can go and get something with. Be nice if we keep drawing around. Maybe we go and get the um approach we could do. Could go and get a few, but we haven't got the other white manor at the moment. Approach seems decent. Um we'll push the Murphy branch in a sec. Okay. They're not uncounterable, are they? Okay, cool. So we're supreme wheel that. Okay. Now they could have blossom in defense. We'll soon see if they do. There we go. Try and push. Does it get pushed? No, they've got... Oh, on oh, Summon, eh? Return it to the hand. We don't mind that. Don't mind that so much. Take one. Um, play our land. Oh, Fumigate. I think we're going to go Scarab, though. Let's go Scarab God. Yield. Yield. 
another unclaimed. So the good thing is obviously we can try and take some uh, folk here now from their graveyard. At worst ways we can masterminds for a white mana. You know, if they drop a complete massive hand here, we can all you know, we can go and get the other white mana, play Fumigate, Scarab gotta come back to our hand. But we're in a pretty strong position with Scarab God there. Um, let's take. And before you may better. Um, well, we probably should take Deep Root first. Let's take that first. Let's get ourselves a deep root. It comes down as a 4 4. So we get to scry um, essence scatter. It's not it's not a bad card, is it? Let's keep it. We can't play it, but um opponent has two cards in hand. Oh no, Pokemon. Sorry, dude. I've got to start a bit earlier today because I'm working tomorrow now, so I have to start a bit earlier. Um, so we could attack in. They'd have to double block, which probably not too bad. Um, they got two cards in hand. Let's attack. Get our opponent to 14. Hope class is going well, buddy, as well. Hope class is going well. Uh, no music today, because obviously this will be going on YouTube. So there might be some background music once I get it uploaded. But at the moment, so yep. Oh, that's a nice card. Get some to draw a card. Okay. Um, Fumigate is not even the worst thing here. Because we get to replay Scarab God. Okay. Um, Supreme Will. I'm going to put it on top. Right, okay. Hmm. I mean, we can get another Merfolk. We do have Essence Scatter and Supreme One. That is enough to win the game. We were getting very aggressive there. I didn't, couldn't really see how they could, you know, beat that. So we're bringing Authorities. Um, what do we want to take out? So the Wreckage is good. Profane can go. Um, Baffling End is quite decent as well. Fatal Push is decent. Ravenous Chupacara is good. Uh, I'll probably drop Hulk. Drop one Hulk, maybe. Cast out? Not too sure. Not too sure. What would I like to bring in? I'd probably like to bring in another Fumigate, to be honest. Take out Cast Out, bring in another Fumigate. Um... Could bring in graveyard. They do want to bring in the gates. Probably would like a negate. I'm going to get rid of an expel and bring in one negate and see where we go from that. So we're playing for tickets or points, as they say. One they're up against the Merfolk. Opponent's obviously making quite a few changes, possibly. Hostage Taker might be quite good to bring in as well, thinking about it. Could definitely take one of their creatures. Could bring in a Hostage Taker. Mm. Don't know. Mm. No. No. Maybe I should bring it in, I'm not too sure.
opponent is using the full amount of time. The full amount of time. So yes, Dick performed very well for me at Channel 5 at the um, London event. Did very, very well. I um, think I got beat a couple of times. Uh, but overall, you know, did very well for me. Playing a mixture of decks. Um, Red-white approach was one. Um, I just played a mono-red aggro deck. Blue-black control. Um, it just performed so well. I really do like Masterminds. I think it's such a cool card. And obviously the Scarab God is just an absolute beater. Best card in best best creature card in standard, definitely, I think. Right, here we go. So opening hand is not keepable whatsoever, so we will mulligan. And that is keepable. It's, it's got two searches, which is a bit annoying, but it's not terrible. Another land, yep. Put it on top. We want to get to that approach. So, search for canter will help us a bit. We hope. Okay. So, um, we will lead off with our island. Past turn. Hash up. Okay. Deep root comes down. Okay, profane, eh? Let's play search, yield. Uh, at least, if anything, it gives us a turn three play. So we can play the profane. We are going to have to find something quick, though, if they're going to... This deck can, you know, if you if you stall again, so if you manage to get, you know, stall them out, you will beat Merfolk as far as, you know, from what I've played against. All right, what have we got? What have we got? Um, island. No, we need that land. Take that. Play the Glacial. Yeah, Profane's a little bit too slow for this matchup, but I maybe should have swapped that out. I thought I did. So yield. So we're going to take a bit, a bit of battery. We do, you know, if we see a lord now, we're we're in a bit of trouble. That'll probably be too quick for us then, because we can't even exile saying until turn five. So hope for no lord, no lord, please. Oh, Nissa. Okay, get a scry. Cool. Okay. I think it's, it's in minus six. They've got. Uh, they need three more activations to do that. But we're down to 14. Okay, what have we got? Planes. Uh, no, well, we're drawing the lands. Not much else at the moment. But we can exile a creature next turn, which will help out a little bit. <laughs> I know, mate. I'm always going to go. Eight months in a row. Eight months in a row. Thank you very much, Bammy. Thank you very much, Bammy, mate. Everyone give some love in the chat if you can. Give some Doritos. Give whatever you can. Thank you very much, buddy, for your great support, as always. Deep root. Right. Okay. More counters. Take another battery down to nine. Oh, we could definitely do a top draw and a fumigate here. Yeah. Fumigate would be amazing. It would be amazing. Come on, fumi. Oh, Essence scatter. 
Um, yep. Okay. What do we draw? What do we draw? Oh, fetid pools. No. Right. Um, I think we need to do this now. Whenever in the middle of the cup. Yeah, I think we need to do this now. Two of those down. Yeah. We don't want double interactions. So it's not great. Yeah, they use the zero ability. Oh, unsummon. Okay. We're still turns away from our approach, unfortunately. We're probably, we, we could easily die this turn. We've not drawn any removal. One first game very easy, drawing fatal pushes early and stuff like that. Yield. Yes, sir. It's a land. So we'll be in it for you. Three, four, five. Fumigate. Fumigate we want. Sell the wreckage we want. Something. Uh, Vraska's attempt. Doesn't do anything. There's Kuminer. Come on, we've got two chances, two draws to try and get Fumigate. Two draws. Six down to three. Two draws. Evolving Wild. Yep, Graveyard. And draw. Concealed Courtyard. So that does nothing for us. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One away from approach, but that even wouldn't save us anyway. Exile that, two, four, six. Um, let's just do this anyway. Cycle, see what we would draw. And it's another land. Okay, concealed. Right, game three. Game three. Uh. It didn't put my sideboard in. What the frick? I knew I, I took out Profane Procession. Bloody MTGO, I tell you. Because I dropped a gear hulk, so basically I didn't have my sideboard there. Cracking play. Cracking play, MTGO. Thank you very much for that. I, I just knew there was cards there that I, I took out. Because I took out the Expel, and it did not bring in my sideboard. So no wonder I didn't find Fumigate. The extra one was in the sideboard. That is rubbish, man. Absolute rubbish. And it's not even letting me submit the deck. Right, let's see what happens. Well, I've got it this time. There's an authority, but we were definitely at a disadvantage. I don't know whether it was the same for my opponent, but we were definitely at a disadvantage that game then. Didn't submit. I did. I pressed the button. I think it's the same with MTGO because even when I pressed it there, the, it didn't highlight when I pressed it. So even when I pressed it, it wasn't highlighting. It just went straight to the game. Right. Come on. Play that. Right. We got. We got a pretty good hand at the moment. Not going to cycle the land away because we got the five mana for Fumigates. There's no point in cycling it away at the moment. Oh, damn it. Okay. Wow, they sideboarded in for I suppose it's in there for the search for Ascanta. <laughs> If in doubt, blame MTGO, mate. You know that. You know that. Um, there we go. Yield. If in doubt, blame the program. 
Don't forget, if you are new to us and you're watching on Twitch, don't forget to hit that follow button. And if you're going to be watching on YouTube, hit that sub button if you can. Great way to support the channel. We are battling against Merfolk in this game. Edept. Okay, cool. Uh, I can cycle a card this time. Well, we're getting the lands out of the way, aren't we? We'll take the two. We will take the two. What do we draw? What do we draw? What do we draw? Oh my god, we're getting flooded. We are getting flooded. The flood is real, everyone. The flood is real. Bing, 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 bing. See you right to get another adept. Okay. Do we want to go to 14? See what they play here. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> um, do we want to go to 14 here? I'm happier at 16. I'm happier at 16. Kill one. Take two. 16. They could still drop their hand next turn. Right, what do we got? Oh, it's an Evolving Wilds. Jeez. Jeez. Wow. Come on. We can get out of this. We can get out of this. We're still on a healthy life. We just want them to drop their hand completely. But they probably won't because obviously they play around fumigates and stuff. But we can live in hope. Live in hope that they do. Okay. Yep. We're going to take a bit of a beating. But we got, you know, we got, we're going to be able to take the Murfolk now. So we're going to take six. We're going to gain three back. They're obviously going to keep back some. Down to ten. Um, keeping up unsummoned to bounce stuff back. Which is a bit annoying. What do we draw? Not another land. Oh, authority of the councils. Not too bad. Play that. Play the fumigate. Hopefully they don't have a negate. Don't have a negate. Or we're dead. Yeah, we knew they'd have unsummoned back. To be honest, I mean, that's a good one to take back. The other one draws some cards. Okay. So back to 12. Gain a bit more life, hopefully with the authority now. And we just need to draw some action. Come on, draw some action. Draw some action. Come on. Cumin. I would have liked to grab that one up, to be honest. I would have liked to be in that one with the old Fumigate. But we're back to 14. Come on. Saint decent. Saint decent. Supreme will. Right. Um, right, we'll have to see what happens here. Hoping they don't play Saint really. I mean, they have got the mist in hand, which is obviously what we're going to have to counter. Otherwise, we're just going to take, you know, too much of a beam, but we're going to have to count this. I would have I would have loved to be able to search the top four. Always play your lands. When you know someone's playing Supreme Will, always play your lands. Don't hold back. Right. Come on. Saint Decent. Oh, freaking oh. Oh, they can give something plus three three. They hits us for seven. 
Yeah, we, we got flooded out this game. This will be the first time we've lost to Merfolk with this deck if we if we do lose. Hit for four. Down to six. Nope, nothing else. Come on, approach something. Oh, fumigate, lovely. Don't know. Yes, they didn't have the bounce spell. Sweet, sweet. It's because you're every time you're here, man. We played Blimmin' Merfolk every time. <laughs> you little fishy. You are oh, they gonna? They're gonna? Yeah, they're gonna get rid. Oh, they're not getting not getting rid of all of them. Okay. All right, we're still in this. Come on, come on, we can do it. Essence scatter in hand. Come on, be saying decent. Um, yep, count that. Count that. Something seems fishy. It's because it's fishies, mate. It's fishies. All right, come on. Something. Vraska. Well, Vraska's contempt isn't terrible. It's more life gain. Okay. Okay. Gain a life. It's a three two. Kamina's oh Kamina's speaker entered. Um which one's that? So yo, how you doing, buddy? Down his climb. Okay. Gonna exile that now. Back up to eleven life. Ah, oh, sweet Leo, mate. Sweet, cool. Nice to have a day off. Something good. Come on, come on. Got no mana, man. What are you? How are you tapping? A ravenous chupacabra. Well, we'll have to wait till a creature comes down. There's no point playing this yet. Okay. Authority is good. Okay. Sweet. Hadana's climb's good as well. Right, what do we draw? Island. Let's play Ravenous. Kill the creature. We'll, we'll leave this island back. We've got four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll leave the island back. You can keep exiling stuff. Come on, approach. Where are you? It's mixed into those 40 cards. Come on. Opt, not too bad. I'm gonna opt now. Um bottom. Oh, Jesus. Flood is real on this game, isn't it? Might as well attack. I don't think they've got anything with haste. Do 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 do. I mean, genuinely they will, but we need to draw something. Hopefully it's now. Come on. I mean, obviously they got the crook out for... Oh, we've drawn the scarab, God. Um, so unfortunately they can crack it as soon as we play it.
Oh, yes. We got it. We got it. Now they can crack it now, though. It didn't matter if we did it either way around. They're going to basically get rid of their graveyard now. Okay. Yep. Okay. We've still got... I mean, next turn we can do it twice, potentially. But I suppose they can just crack it off anyway. But now we've got 7 power on the board. And we're back at 12 life. I feel a lot happier now. As our opponent drops 4 epic creatures. <laughs> Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Alright, nothing in there. Come on. Decent from the top. Oh, no. Alright. Attack for seven. Back in control now. The Scarab God. It might not be able to get in from the graveyard, but it's still pretty strong. As just a creature. Um, let's do cycle that. Oh, we get a nice ravenous chupacabra ready for the case they play any creatures, but they're all coming in tap now anyway. Pretty much game. You'd hope. I suppose they could have unsummons. They are playing unsummon. They could bounce it and slow it down a little bit. Yep, Mistbinder comes in, gain another life. Okay, put a counter on. Cool. Right. And what do we draw? We draw Glimmer. Lovely. Right. Going to play Ravenous now. And that is enough for the win. 30 play points. We come back and we took down the fishies again. I'm sorry, Bam, mate. We just beat those fishies up, man. We beat them up. That was a very, very close game, though. Very close game. So, guys, what a match it was. Blue Green Merfolk is also, you know, it's always very hard to beat, but I always seem to just get, you know, get the upper hand with them. They seem to just attack you, attack you, but they seem to run out of answers. Whether that's just the way I've been playing them, I know there's going to be a few people that would definitely disagree with me there. One being Bam Deadstroke, who absolutely loves the fishies. But at the moment, we're finding them no trouble whatsoever. So guys, if you're interested in the deck that I was playing there, I will leave a link to the deck tech below. So please go and click that link as well. And if you are new to us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really, really does help support the smaller channels. You don't know what it means to us as well. Thanks again for watching. Take care, and I'll see you on the next video.